Can you touch our friends? No. <laughs> Don't paw your friends. Good morning, Internet friends, or rather, good afternoon, Internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, boys? Are we doing sleepy? Oh, and there's the pretzel. The squeaker has officially been removed. And I found bits of squeaker all over the floor. Blop! <laughs> and you're sassy, girl. So, I spent my entire morning asleep. I did get up at like 6.30 and then 9.30 because the dogs need to go outside. And oh my gosh, I felt horrible this morning. Like, I'm not sure what it was. Maybe I was t very tired, but I was like really sluggish movements. Um, feeling kind of weak. Like, again, feeling like I'm here, but I, I don't feel like I'm here. It was a derealization thing again, and I was like, oh, goody. Like, it took everything I had to eat a piece of bread. That was exciting. Um, excuse you. Why are you barking? Guys. They like to bark at my brother for some reason. Guys. Stop it. Yes, good boy. What a good boy. Here, since he was a good boy and stopped barking, you guys want to give him a cookie? Do you want a cookie? Yeah, you do. All right, let right, you've been getting a lot of the Soho, so let's give you a lamb lung. Hold on, this is hard to do with one hand. There we go. Now, boys, you need to sit. Sit, please. Yes. Wait. Get it. Yes. Riddler, wait. Get it. Yes. Yes. Ah. Riddler, leave it alone. I mean, Emma, I'll leave it alone. There you go, baby. Yum! Lamb lung for everybody. Hooray! Um, then I finally woke up at about 12 and actually had energy. I didn't feel so sluggish and gross and bleh. So I was like, woo! So then I tackled cleaning our bathroom because it needed to be cleaned desperately. And I'm the only one who will do it. So done that. And then Lakota just messaged me. She wanted to know if we could hang out and play Pokemon Go together. So I'm going to go do that. First I have to get dressed and then go. So yeah. It's feeling pretty nice. Like not. I finally realized I'm like you know you didn't have to wake up to go to the preschool. So woo. Feels quite nice. I got to sleep in. Even though I felt kind of sick this morning. It was worth it. Got to cuddle my babies. And that is what matters. And I want to try to maybe today, no, I keep saying this and then I never do it, maybe take MRL on an outing, maybe, and not necessarily for training, just, you know, chilling with him. We'll see. Um, and I do want to show you guys a clip of him working on his loose leash heel. It actually has gotten a lot better. Depends on if the rain holds up, so. Yeah, now I'm going to get ready and hang out with Lakota, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Are we going to check in later? Emeril! <gasps> Emeril, can you give our friends a paw? No. Paw. Can you give them a paw? <gasps> Hi, paw! Yes! Thank you! Can, can you touch our friends? No. <laughs> Don't paw your friends. Emeril. Hey! Hey! Emeril! Emeril! Hey! Can you touch your friends? Emeril! Can you touch your friends? Touch! Touch! Yes! Good boy! Good job touching your friends! Hey guys! Dear Sassy! <gasps> My Sassy girl! Hi Angel. I sometimes wonder if you can hear. I don't really know. Sassy. Hi baby. Good girl. So, it's been a while, but I came back from hanging out with Lakota. That was awesome! Apparently, Pokemon Go is having a fire and ice event where more fire and ice type Pokemon exist. So, 
I got to catch Pokemon that I've been needing to get, like Growlithes and Vulpixes and Ponytas, and I was so excited. Especially for Ponyta, because if you guys don't already know, Rapidash, which is the evolved form of Ponyta, is my most favorite Pokemon ever. If you are like, what the heck are you talking about? Pokemon are like these creatures that are mixed with elements, kind of. Like, my favorite Rapidash looks like a yellow unicorn with fire for a mane and tail. My favorite. But, um, yeah. And then came home and worked on the vlog. Got my computer cleaned out some, had dinner, and now I'm needing to go to Tractor Supply to get, like, flea and tick stuff for our dogs. And I figured, why not go ahead and take Emerald on a little expedition? So, we're gonna go. It's not gonna be, like, too crazy. I will have him wear his vest so that he can, you know, get used to wearing that. Um, I won't bring his halty. I won't do that. I'll bring treats, obviously, because treats are the best. And we're just gonna have a good time. Just walk around, chill, stuff like that. I still need to get his collar made. I'll, I need to talk to the woman who does that, so. I need to remember to get you guys clips so you can see Emerald working out in public. Um, first, I'll get him there and just kind of let him be chill, let him get used to things, and then we may do a little bit of, like, see if he will do a heal. I don't know if he will. And, I mean, I'm not going to get mad if he doesn't. We'll just see if he'll, if he'll try. Um... There are certain commands that he will do for me in the store. I've gotten him to sit and lay down. I've gotten him to stay and come, though I need to work it a little more. I've gotten him to sit and lay down and stand on weird things, like on empty shelves or if there's like something rubber on the floor or something like that. So, yeah, things like that. But I need to get his service dog collar made so that we could just go and wear that because it'd look more professional compared to his whale collar, but, you know... We do what we do, so <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get ready and take Emerald on an adventure. Good boy. What is my hair doing? Blah. Blah. Eh, whatever. So anyway, hey guys. There be a Riddler. There be an Emerald. And there be a sassy girl. So, I just got out of the shower. Um. So the outing with Emerald was actually successful. Note to self though, it is hard to tr like trying to work with a dog pulling on a leash when you have stuff in your hands. Um. And that is something he and I need to work on, is out in public, he likes to pull on the leash. Especially when he sees other people, or sees the exit. Um, I worked on loose leash heel with him. Like, anytime he would pull, I would just turn a different direction until he would just walk easy by me. And he actually did very well, I was very proud of him. Um, it's been a while since he's been out on an outing, so this is great. <laughs> Um, and I also tried to get you guys a clip, as you already saw, of MRL doing his loose leash training, but do keep in mind, while I try as hard, as much as I can to post videos of his training and go, PA and stuff, um, it's kind of hard to do that. Um, that clip, I had to put down the stuff that I was going to buy, like hide it in a shelf so I could show the video. Because I could not hold my camera, hold my phone, and hold a thing of flea and tick spray, and a thing of greenies, and a dog. So, we're working on it though. And one day, his loose leash will be a lot easier, but that went well. I let him said, say hi to people. And the one question I get constantly is, what breed is he? He's a wine? I thought he looked like one, but I couldn't decide with the long hair. The long hair throws people off, and it's kind of funny to me. I've had people think he was a Cocker Spaniel mix before. Oh, and Chocolate Golden Retriever. That was my favorite. Because <laughs> I'm like, uh, the name Golden Retriever 
should insinuate gold, not chocolate. Plus, I don't think a chocolate golden retriever is a thing. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if a go chocolate golden retriever is actually a real thing. I don't think it is. But we had a good time. We got the stuff we needed. And then I just kind of like crashed and watched videos. I had dinner, came back and crashed some more. And now I'm about to go to bed. So <sighs> now I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... For those of you with service dogs or service dogs in training, when it comes to public access, what is the number one thing that you need, that your dog needs to work on? Among, like the first thing you can think of. I think for Emeril, his number one thing is to not pull at the leash towards the exit or towards other people. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Lou. Good night, Emeril. And good night, my sassy girl.